There is some exciting new advice on how to create engagement on your library's Facebook page. We're going to share that in this episode of the Library Marketing Show. Hi, everyone. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com. And today I'm going to start with our kudos award. I love to recognize libraries and librarians doing great work in marketing. If you want to nominate your library or a librarian you know, you can head to my website and then look for the Library Marketing Show tab. Let me know who you're nominating and what you're nominating them for. Send me links and we will recognize them on a future episode. Today's kudos is something that I saw on LinkedIn. This is a person that I know, so it's a little personal, but I wanted to give kudos today to my friend, Jessica Daly. Jessica uh, works for Advent Health University. She's head of collections and electronic resources, and she's head of library outreach and marketing. So like you, she has a lot of hats. And recently, Jessica was named Librarian of the Year by the Florida Health Sciences Library Association. It's a great honor, and I want to give her kudos. You should follow her on LinkedIn. She shares lots of great information and health tips. She does a lot of presentations for groups around the state of Florida where she lives. Great job, Jessica. Now let's get into our topic for the day, which is how to create engagement on Facebook. I always like to get new advice, especially we're now like halfway through the year. Um, and some algorithm things have changed on Facebook since I posted the Facebook tips for libraries. Much of that is still relevant. And I will put a link to that guide down below in the show description if you're watching on YouTube or in the comments if you're watching on LinkedIn. But this new advice comes from a company called Red Website Design which is based in the UK, and they do pretty much what it sounds like. They help design websites. They have created an infographic, and they've shared the eight ways that you can increase engagement on Facebook. So we're going to go through them very quickly, and then I'll put a link to the infographic down below so you can see the whole thing, and there's a further explanation of each point on the infographic. Point number one from wet Red Website Design is to post native videos directly to Facebook. This is something I also advise many libraries that I work with. Don't share a link from your YouTube or your Vimeo or even from your website. Upload that video natively to Facebook. You'll get more engagement because Facebook wants people to watch things on their platform and not go to another platform. Piece of advice number two is to optimize your videos and create video playlists using keyword rich titles and descriptions and creating a playlist for videos I admit this is not something that I have done for the company that I work for, Novelist. I'm going to be taking this piece of advice and seeing how it goes with our Facebook engagement. Tip number three is to go live. Also something I have not tried, but we know people love live videos, especially, I, would, I was going to say especially if they know it's coming, but actually surprise live videos are kind of fun. And if you've built a great audience on Facebook I think it would be fun to surprise them in the middle of the day or in the evening. Just come on for 10 or 15 minutes, do some live book recommendations or interview your program presenter before or after your program. That makes for great content and good engagement. Tip number four, look to Facebook insights for data you can use. We've talked a lot on this channel about the importance of metrics. Check your Facebook data once a month. Take I don't know, a couple of minutes. I usually, I'm going to say it takes me about 20 minutes to look through all the data, see if there's anything I need to adjust for the coming month. It's a very important step. Number five is to post exclusive content, which is something I think libraries absolutely can do. You, you have experts on staff. You can write blogs. You can talk about special programs that are happening and not just talk or promote the program that's coming, but maybe share some takeaways from the program after it happens on your Facebook. That is exclusive to your library and will create great enriching content and good engagement. Tip number six, interact and engage meaningfully with your community. Of course, when people comment on library Facebook posts, I see a lot of libraries doing this, coming in, um, having a conversation, at least saying thank you, but also offering them some other services. And I think that's counting as uh, meaningful engagement. So most libraries are doing this and it's great to boost your engagement. Tip number seven, we're almost to the end of the list, is to make the most of user-generated content. Summer reading is coming and this is a really great time to do this when you have people who share photos of themselves reading in the summer or attending one of your summer programs. Make sure you share those on Facebook. Um, acknowledge them. 
get your partners to share them. That is a really great way to build engagement. Tip number eight from Red Website Design is to use cinemagraphs. Now, I did not know what a cinemagraph was, so I had to look it up. Google it. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a great tutorial on how to do it from Adobe if you're library has Adobe, but basically it is a still picture and a moving video that are meshed together to create some movement in the still picture. And the one I really loved on the Adobe website was like a skillet with some food in it and was bubbling. Very, very cool. Apparently creating these is not super hard. There are also allegedly are some free photo websites that have cinemagraphs available. If you have someone on staff who can do it, maybe if you have a makerspace and some Adobe, someone, one of your staff members has a few moments, they can create one for you. That is a great way to build engagement on Facebook. What have you done recently on your library's Facebook page that has driven engagement? Let's start a conversation down in the comments. I'm certainly curious and I know my viewers and readers are. And that's it for this episode of the Library Marketing Show. But my channel is full of other tips and tricks for library marketing if you're interested and continuing to learn, head to that next video. I'll see you there.